Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn a quick concept about cross ladder theorem. Now, this is a very commonly used diagram in which we can use similarity of triangles. Over here, our agenda is to find the relationship between A, B, C, D and E. So, let's start. So, first of all, over here in this diagram, A, B and then E, F and then C, D. These three lines are perpendicular to line BC. The length of AB is small a, the length of EF is small c, the length of DC is small b and so on. So over here, the first of all, what we can do is, we can say that triangle ABC is similar with triangle EFC. So now which two triangles I am talking about, let's have a look at it everyone. So, I am talking about these two triangles. This is A, B, E, F and this is C. And let's write the lengths. This is small a, small c, small d, small e. So, over here we can see that the length of A, B divided by length of E, F is equal to length of B, C divided by length of F, C the ratio of corresponding sides. Similarly, we can see that triangle DCF, sorry, triangle DCB, it's similar with triangle EFB. So, which two triangles I am talking about? These two triangles. This is triangle DCB and this is triangle EFB. The lengths are over here, this is small b, small c, this is e and this is d. Now the ratio of corresponding sides, dc divided by ef is equal to cb divided by bf. So now what we are supposed to do is, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Let's divide equation 1 by equation 2, what we will get, let's have a look at it. So over here, A divided by C divided by B divided by C, which is equal to D plus E divided by E divided by E plus D divided by D. So if we solve this further, what we will come to know that A divided by B is equal to D divided by E. So over here, the result is what? The length of AB and the length of CD. This ratio is same as the length of B of divided by length of F C over here. A divided by B, this ratio is same as D divided by E. After this, over here, the next concept, let's have a look at it. Let's take a reciprocal of these two equations. The reciprocal of equation 1 is C divided by E is equal to E divided by D plus E. And the reciprocal of equation 2 is C divided by B is equal to D divided by E plus D. So now let's add these two equations. What we will get? C divided by A plus C divided by B is equal to E divided by D plus E plus D divided by E plus D. So from this what we can conclude is C divided by A plus C divided by B is equal to 1. Or what we can do is let's take C common and bring that on the right hand side. So it becomes 1 divided by A plus 1 divided by B is equal to 1 divided by C. So what is the relationship between A, B and C over here? 1 divided by A plus 1 divided by B is equal to 1 divided by C. How to use these two concepts? Let's have a look at it. Before that, let me quickly revise this. The first concept that we saw is the ratio of A and B. It's same as the ratio of D and E. And the second concept that we saw over here is 1 upon C is equal to 1 upon A plus 1 upon B. How to use this? Let's have a look at it. So in this diagram, let's say the length of AB is 10. and the length of DC, let's take it as 6. In that case, the length of EF becomes how much? How to find the length of EF? The formula is 1 upon EF 
is equal to 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 6. So if we solve this further, we will get the LCM is 30 and this is going to be 3 plus 5, 8. So the length of EF is going to be 30 divided by 8, which is equal to 15 divided by 4. That is nothing but 3.75. And the second question is, if you want to find the ratio of BF and FC, if the question is find ratio of the length of BF and the length of FC, in that case, we can directly conclude that the length of BF and length of FC, the ratio of these two is going to be same as the ratio of AB and CD. So this ratio becomes how much? 10 divided by 6, that is equal to 5 divided by 3. This is how we can use this cross ladder theorem.